Stacy says, I thought I had a copy of Office 2019 standalone that I bought in 2020, but suddenly had the Office 364, I think 365. And that's like, that's that it's a knockoff product called Office 364. <laughs> it's not as good. It's one less. discounted. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it says Office 365 is not activated pop up and kicked me out of all the Office products. I couldn't find the old key to reactivate it. So ended up having to buy 365 even though I only use Office a couple times a month. My question is, why did my standalone lifetime license get pulled by Microsoft? Also, does 365 work without internet? I work on a drilling rig and almost never have internet there. Coincidentally, that is where I use Office. Well, if I, for the latter it, part of that question, uh, I did drop a link in for uh, extended offline access, how long you can go before you've got a basically refresh everything and check in with Microsoft. Um, but as far as I know, you know, you bought a license. If you've got the key, it doesn't expire. Um, exactly. Mm -hmm. I, and 365 will not replace a 2019 installation. If MSI installation, it simply won't do that. It'll sit there and then run side by side. What yeah. may have happened is he has a 2019 on there. He, uh, and, and, a lot of cases, Microsoft will include a little Microsoft Office thing. Their free trial is very, very forward in trying to get you to play with it. And he might have gotten involved with that by, by accident. I don't know. It's kind of fishy because I know for a fact 365 will not replace 2019. It just won't do that. Yeah, I've seen the trial pop up, Hal. I've seen it do that where essentially you've installed the application and then Office 365, it, it is. It's it's a little bit forward and it it aggressively tries to come to uh, make you use it. And then what will mm -hmm. end up happening is you think because it says that, that that is actually the same and it's not. You can have both installed at the same time. Exactly. Oh. The trial app is the meth of the Office 365 world. It you literally it opens once, the trench hooked. code on your screen. <laughs> exactly. First taste is free. <laughs> so yeah, to House Point, you can actually uninstall the Office 365 version and only have the client app installed, um, but you have to have the key, the original 2019 key to make that happen. So if exactly. you don't have that, then you're kind of, yeah. I mean, you can still buy the standalone license but you yeah. but you're gonna have to manage it and keep track of your key well it sounds like that's the issue here i mean it wouldn't be an issue if he had had the key there he didn't have it so he had to install the cloud version which is that's the upgrade the latest version if you find the key you want to go back to the other version again you mm -hmm. can go into the files or you could go in into the programs and and uninstall that you'll see it's a it's a separate install and so you can remove that and then just reinstate with using the key. And another thing to consider or is if you happen to have switched computers, your installation of Office 2019 is not going to magically Probably. show up on your new computer. And you may have seen that trial Office 365 subscription and you, you think that it came along, but it didn't. So they're two separate things. So if you did have a new computer, you can install your lifetime copy of 2019 with the existing key and that should be fine. And if you still have the old computer, if it is that scenario, there are methodologies by which you can you can find the key. If the installation is still valid, you can find the key that was used to install it. And that key again should not ever expire. You should be able to copy it and use it on the new computer. We should include a link to that. Um, somebody asked that question and I said, there's got to be a process for that. I'm sure it's documented somewhere. I'll have to go and find that. That would be a useful link. Yeah. I know you can get it out of the registry. I don't know if there's anywhere in the UI that you can mine it out of. Well, the apps that I've seen that do that do indeed go in and mine out of the registry. So yeah, that'd be, I'm sure it's documented somewhere, a walkthrough of how to do that, how to find that. Yeah. Yeah, a search on the internet should provide that. Shouldn't take much of a search either. <laughs>